So my name is Matt Athanasius and I'm the team principal at the University of Wollongong Formula SAE team for the 2014 campaign. I'm studying a double degree of engineering and law, so I'm a part of the uh, EIS faculty. The Formula SAE project is essentially a design and build project. The ultimate goal is to produce a uh, open wheel weekend autocross racer. So essentially that takes us from concept through to design, through to build and prototype testing. So the Formula SA project here at the University of Wollongong has been running since, uh, since 2000 and the first competition was in 2001. Uh, the project generally rolls over from year to year. So essentially you start in January and then you race in December at the Australasian competition. The Formula SA project is a global project. Um, so there's about 500 universities in the world that compete in the project. At the Australasian competition, we generally get about uh, 25 to 30 competitors, including usually about five or six overseas teams. So for this year, uh, what we've decided to do is we've taken evolutionary design philosophy. In layman's terms, what that means is basically that we're building on previous designs from previous years uh, instead of reinventing the wheel, for want of a better term. For a 2014 campaign, uh, we have about 50 core members for both technical and business systems. So we have uh, managers who manage uh, every little system on the car, for example, engine, chassis, which is the frame, uh, suspension, aerodynamics, as you can see as well, and so on and so forth. We've also got business managers as well. So we have a business director. We also have a finance manager and media and PR managers as well. Primarily, our team is made up of engineering students, and that's generally where the attraction is because the project is a design and build competition. However, for the 2014 campaign, we've also brought in a lot of new uh, members from other faculties, be it from law, um, from the sciences, um, also from the health sciences, also from the arts. The Formula SAE competition is held over four days. Um, there's seven competitions globally. The one in Australasia is held in de the December of each year, usually down in Melbourne. What we go through for the design and build competition, the criteria is static events and dynamic events. So the static event involved an assessment of not only your design, but also the cost of the vehicle, how you've costed it, and also cost presentation and the presentation of the vehicle itself. Um, so there's three events in that. And then we have the dynamic events, which speaks for itself. It's basically driving the car. So we have four different dynamic events. Uh, we have an acceleration run, which is a little bit like a drag. We have a skid pad, which is basically two figure eights. Uh, we have an autocross, which is like a hot lap or a qualifying lap, if you know much about racing, and an endurance run to test how long the car go for and also how fuel efficient it is. Uh, the, uh, the highlight would have to be probably the launch night. Um, that's the first night that you see the car as a whole uh, in its competition spec. It's certainly very rewarding. You start with a concept, even sometimes a dream, uh, if you will, in January and then you see in early December a car sitting there in front of you. That's uh, yeah, it's very special, very rewarding. It's probably the highlight of the campaign.